Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm in Australia. Looks a bit overcast out there today, but it's not too bad a day, it's nice. Uh, personally, still not really still not really bad, I still not feeling hundred percent. I've got um <laughs> still got this cough too. Okay, so today we're going to make I'm gonna make I'm gonna be starting to make I'm going to make a journal cover, right? And it's going to be made out of vintage fabric suffle puff yo-yos, whatever you call them, sewn together. Okay. I've done one. I've done one because I have a bag full of ordinary ones. But I want to do these sort. And I want to do them in vintage fabrics. And the ones that I've got, I've got this sort of, this is the sort of style of one that I got, well, the idea of, that I did myself a long time ago, but this one's made with this thing, right, but it makes it very full and not flat enough for me because I want it to be reasonably flat. And then I'm going to put the button on and of course I'm going to do the stitch around the outside. Now, um, I had a bit of trouble with that because I kept on pulling it over. Should be right though. I'm going to put a bit of glue on there. So the other side of the button's got a flower on, but I don't want that to show. So we're going to just stick a bit of that on there. I've collected up a couple of pieces of vintage fabric. This one here, I think, is is. I've got a feeling it is. It may not be, but it looks like it could be. So I'm going to use that one. Um, that one's definitely not in the picture. I'm just going to, I just showed you that somewhere I got the idea. I had to join this actually a couple of times at the back, so I don't know why I didn't cut off enough thread. It is not a perfect circle, but it's pretty good. And I used this, the actual thing piece here for the template, because I didn't use, this is the size of the template for the other one here, because it's folded over a couple of times, yeah, so it's, so I used the, this piece here. Right. I'm not going to actually use it to work with. So I've got, now I've got a bit of this. Now this is very fine. I thought I could use two thicknesses to do it. Beautiful, isn't it? I could use two thicknesses of that one if I wanted to do that one. I have that and it's very, yeah, well, I'm not a big fan. That come off a coating a cover, or was it coating a cover or something once. It's off something. It, doesn't look, it looks like it's got a little um, bug thing on these dead, but um, I don't know whether that's, that's too thick. We might we'll use that one. I have this piece here that is beautiful. I love this. I've been sort of using bits off it from time to time, but mostly saving it, you know, because it's just so pretty. So I have that. This is going to have to be pinks and uh, orangey colours, I think. This one here is really old, old, old. Nice bit of vintage one. Now you could probably get two sort of styles off that, maybe. It just depends what. You use if I use that bit there, I could it'll come back with the brown. We'll see what happens anyway. Because I do, that is that's really pretty, isn't it? There's this one here. This is a really fine one too. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now I can. I don't think you need double with that. I've been tearing this as you can see. Not today though. Um, I've got this piece here that was a of a child's um, fabric of a fairy thingy. I don't know if she, maybe she's not a fairy. But I'm going to use part there of this. It's got little bees on it, so that's pretty old, that one. This one I don't know for sure. Don't think so, but it is a bit old. It's probably something that's from the... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so and then there's this piece. And it's a little tiny bit older. This is a bit of sea sucker. It's off of... Um, I thought it might have been a bit of clothing, but I think it... Maybe not. Well, actually, it's got a little circle there, but... I don't know what that's going to end up like with the time we cut it, but anyway, so this is what I'm going to use these colours here because this is what, mainly what I've got. The other other vintage ones I've got are very thick, thick, very thick fabrics, so I'm going to use this one now and show you what we're doing. Okay, um, I need to make two. I don't know whether I need to do two or three of each one. Okay, so the best idea to do that is to cut them all at the same time. 
if you can. So you can just fold it over like that. Not too far. Not too far, sorry. You've gone too far. About there. And we've got this size here. Right. Still might have a bit too much left over. Hand's not working for me today at all. It's just, ah, uh, it's had enough. <laughs> it's given up on me. I hope not. Is that right there? Okay. I might just tear this bit across here. <clears throat> not good for the... I'm going to have to get to that doctor soon and get a, get a needle or something. Let her give me that needle when she gets back. Bird sitting out there looking at me, I think. <laughs> and that's okay. I didn't want to really I'm going to cut that, cross, that, cross that over there. If you cut them all out the same time, hopefully you can get them all the same size. If you go and cut. If you cut them all. Um, <laughs> you always should. Don't cut one and then use it with a template for the next one because somehow they get bigger. It doesn't really matter though because when I put them together, which I'm going to be joining them um, like that, goodness, they're going to one there, one there. They'll work. It'll work. I don't. I don't doubt that at all. Okay, so we need to put. This over there. It doesn't really need ironing because it's not that bad. Um, so I'm going to draw a line around here. Now the circles are templates that I bought. There's nothing this size. <laughs> that happens though, doesn't it? Then we're going to put in a couple of pins because we want to cut it out the right size, don't we? Another one. We don't want to muck it up. I've got a whole heap of just ordinary ones down there in the bag. I got out this morning, but I didn't want to want to use them. I want to do this. I want to make this vintage looking, mostly vintage fabric looking cover thingy. By putting these together, on going to have to be on something, aren't they? Are they going to go? I'm thinking about putting them over the top of a piece of lace thing. If I got some nice lace, <coughs> excuse me, that I could just do a, a underneath cover first, and then have these sitting on the top of it. Okay, so that's that bit done. There's me bit of extra for the me scrap bin. Now I've got four of these. Okay. Very nice sheer piece, but and you've got to be careful you're not going to sew it the wrong way. So I'm just going to use a piece of creamy calico colour. It's calico coloured cotton. <laughs> Hopefully we're not going to see it, okay? And it doesn't matter if you do because you're going to have it pulled in. And this, I reckon, to, to my way of thinking, I like the way they're doing it like this because you can cover over your centre and if you want it to be flat... Which I do. You don't want to, you don't want to have that extra piece under the bottom of it, eh? <clears throat> right. Now, just a couple of things. Um, one of the, one of the lovely ladies asked me about the glue that I use, um, and it is this tacky glue. It's Elaine, 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 Elaine's <laughs> tacky glue. The one this is always ready now. Always, this is beaut. This one you can buy it standing up straight, but I like the one that you can just sit like this and it's ready to be used all the time. And you get that spotlight here in Australia, and you can buy it in America. You can buy that anywhere. I think it's, I think it could be in the UK. So I'm only going to take in about a quarter of a cent, a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch. Oh, could be maybe half a centimetre, but we try to stick to the same size all the way around, and that way your circle is going to be the same. And I'm just rocking the pin, rocking the fabric back and some forwards over the pin like this, and then you just pull that through. Don't go too close to the edge, otherwise it'll fray. Okay. Now the needles that I bought are a anti-glue needle, which 
I can't remember what actually is on them. I can't I can't think of that. And I got these at a local um, shop. It says it's made in Vietnam. Um, Anti-glue needles. They have a specialised coating to prevent adhesive from sticking onto the eye, the grooves, and grooves when sewing through adhesive. Well, that's probably something I wouldn't do unless it was pretty close to being dry. But if it, if you got it wrong and you didn't get it dry, well, these are what you can get. I tore that bit off the front because you have to undo that actually to open it. So that was my sorry about that. Um, just. But if you try anti glue, but there's a name, they've got something on them, they've got something on them, and I can't remember what it is now to stop the glue from sticking to it. But anyway, it's like, um, uh, let me see, is it like the saucepan? <laughs> is it like what's on the saucepan? Um, I can't even remember what that is. Are you fry pan? Maybe. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. Well, it cost. They cost me eight dollars something, but I don't care. I've got four of them, and they should last me forever. I don't think I'll need any more. So once you've got them, you got them. See, so I'm pleased that I bought them here. So that was just at the local fabric store there that we got here. And I went shopping yesterday, and I got. Well, I don't know if you'll see. Yes, you will see this. And I bought a few. What did I buy? Actually, I can't remember now. Oh, a few bits of thread. You know, rolls of thread. I don't know what I've done with them. They're not in here with me. But you know, the crochet roll. These, but I didn't get these ones right there. They were like this. All fluffing that too. Um, right, some of those. Actually, like this. And they're very good. What did I do with that? I didn't, didn't get it. Okay, and when I went to the shop that sells all the fabric and stuff, there was a roll of it there. Now, I went there first to the fabric place, right? And I seen that she had some. She had one roll that was sort of a, uh, this this sort of colour. And um, now you pull that in really tight, because you don't want it to go anywhere. Okay, I get through to the back. Get it really tight. Get the iron. Iron. You have to use the iron. And I said to her, how much was it, see? It took her a while, and the girl that was working there couldn't find it, and she found, finally found the price of it on her chair. And she said $7 something. I said, oh dear, no, I don't think so. I don't think like that. <laughs> what did I buy? Oh, then, oh, I bought some beads and they had no hole in them. Why do I keep doing that? The thing was, she rang it up on the Tilby thing before I seen that they had no hole in them, but I knew so I'd buy them. They're somewhere around here. They're like a bit of flat stuff. Anyway, so this is going to be flat too, look. See? Doesn't that look so much better squished? <laughs> Anyhow, so I went down to Vinnie's after that. Our, our local charity, you know, St Vincent de Paul. And I bought Three balls in a bag for two dollars, one ball for a dollar, hardly even used. So don't ever, well, you can, I suppose, buy it. I couldn't believe it. Last night I'm in bed and I'm thinking, maybe it was linen. Maybe it was a linen fabric, why it was that dear. Because I don't think I've ever come across them being that dear before. But anyway, what happened to me thread? The, the iron did that, did it really? Goodness me. I can't say that on there now. I'm going to have to. So this is a polyester, obviously. I'm going to have to use the thread that I just sewed me button on, or will I use a coloured thread? I've got this one on the plain colour, but it goes with the colours on it. I could use that whichever one I'm going to put around the outside, couldn't I? I don't know what that's going to be. A big grab something around the outside when I get two or three done which won't shouldn't take me too long I'll be able to show you that get I need that color okay which is mm, nah. oh dear. I went and put a whole of these in a big box so I could use that 
out there. But I've got a lot of... Um, that's nice. Oh, I like that one. I'll have that one. I want it to, it's going to contrast a bit, but not too much. This one here, I ver it's variegated. What I put around there. And it looks all quite... It's okay. It looks okay. So I've got a few other bits from Vinnie's. Bought some really good... <laughs> really good. Um, brand new, which old, but brand new. Um, tea towels. Linen ones. They were um, good size and they were... They cost me two, $4 for two. I think I might have got a bit of a bargain there because I'm thinking... <laughs> I didn't know what they were. Well, they didn't know how valuable they'd be. <laughs> because I've, actually, I've given them to Hubby to wash. And I think I'll go back and get some more because I think there's more there still. I'm going to go back and get some more that I can use. Because he can use them. Oh, go to, go to Woolworths or Big W or something, you buy tea towels, right? Some of them are really expensive and some of them aren't so much, but you got to you bring them home, a lot of them, and they shrink up the size of a hanky when you wash them. And he only washes in warm water. He doesn't wash in hot water or anything. The tea towels just shrivel up to tiny, tiny. So that in the middle? Yes, because I'm going to use those. I think they'll look really good. hope I don't run out. That's a bit nasty on the back, isn't it? I don't like the look at that, but you won't be able to see it anyway. So I'm going to sew my button on. I think the, Tim, the wooden ones look really good. So if Sonia can't find enough in this packet, I'll be fishing around everywhere looking for some, I suppose. Oh, that looks nice. Gee, I do love that material. Oh, dear, that is pretty, isn't it? That's a nice material. Yeah, so the day's really weird out there. It's all, all that cloud in the sky. Sorry. Keep getting caught in everything. Okay, come on, come through there. Now, I'm going to fasten that off because then I'm going to do around the edge of it. And then I'll make you another one so you can... I'll show you and we'll put them together. And then you can... I might get to come back and show you a bit more of it. just depends. I was thinking about putting um, these little pictures, like embroideries on the buttons and putting them on. So there's another idea if you feel, you know, that that's for you. See, that's awful big, that one, isn't it, compared to this one? Maybe it's just the way that I've not... Maybe I didn't tighten it up enough, but... As we go along, if, if it doesn't fit with the rest of them, I'm just going to I'll eliminate it and make another one a bit smaller. I'll have to do that. Now I'm going to come up here for the end of the end of it, and I'm going down in there. I do not want that not sitting out. I won't be able to see it after anyway. And go keep trying keep you. It doesn't matter about the underneath, but if you're used to doing it so it's straight, well, that's a good thing. The other side looks the same. It's up to yourselves. So I've kept, I've, I've got most of my, um, what's the name, crochet threads from second hand places. I don't buy them new now because it, it just, it's ridiculous. People just get rid of them after they've only made one or two things with them, I think. Or maybe they just have a large collection and one day when nobody else wants them, they just put them in a Vinnie's or somewhere. The Vinnie's has had a really lot lately, especially the variegated ones. So that's what I got yesterday. A blue variegated one, a yellow one, an orange one, and a pinky, pink and red colour one I got. I thought I brought them in here with me. They're probably in that bag. I can't see them, but... And I bought a whole... Bit. Look what I did. I bought these two. I bought a whole big ball of velvet chenille. Oh, look at it. <laughs> they had three for $10, so I bought one. I'll go back and buy three next time. <laughs> I bought one. I should have bought more. I had them in my hand. I was talking to a friend of mine, and I just got them. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find that thing. 
and balls and stuff. They don't look like they're in here, but never mind. You <coughs> we all know what it looks like. <coughs> oh dear. My poor Jeremy's very sick still. He's even actually actually not doing too much today. You can see because he's got to slow down a bit too. He did. Just doing a blanket stitch. You can do a straight stitch round if you like, you know, like, and, and maybe I might do a couple like that, I don't know yet. But I'm thinking I'm going to connect them with these, I don't know, I've got no idea yet. It was just something that occurred to me today because I was going to make these, um, actually that's not true, what I was going to do was do some hexes, right? And that went by the wayside because... I can't think of whether I don't know what whether I want to do the ones with the panels of the, fab, of the embroidery in the middle or the ones that you have to put it back on later. I know. Please explain, but I, I really don't know which one to do. I must have put that through this through that piece of thread. You've got to be careful with that, don't you? You've done it again. Look. Did I really? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Goodness me, Sonia. It's right. It's all right though, nobody panic. Maybe I should put some glue on that button too. Because I don't want it lifting up. And my cotton's curling up. Something frightful. So the back of mine's reasonably you know, reasonable. Just um, yeah, it definitely needs to be stuck down. Looping through there. The straight stitches might look all right too. Just to, just something to flatten it, because I think it'll look, look better flattened. <laughs> reason I just think so <clears throat> people have made these things in all different ways haven't they I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about with the hexes I couldn't decide what to do I was I didn't cut anything out because I thought well either way you're gonna have to decide first because you can't go cutting it all out and then you don't want to do that but I'll get Actually, today I'm going to make an extra video for my stump work thing series, but that's only to help us with something. All right, there'll be an extra video um, up this week sometime, as far as I know. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know whether I'm going to get it done after this. Might, yeah, well, I'll see it tomorrow or the next day anyway. Maybe that long. Just want to show you a couple of things. Been making little oranges. So if anybody else wants to put theirs up on on the um on our group, I'd like to see how you're going with that. And we've got to look at doing the book as well, but that we're gonna put them in. And that'll that'll happen as well. That'll be on a extra, because I'll have to do a few extras. <coughs> I don't know how much I get, I don't seem to be able to get enough to get me around there. Do you like that? I do, I do like this. Pretty, isn't it? It really is pretty. I always used to wear black clothes years ago. I don't know why. Jeans and black clothes. I didn't have, you know, it was, it was just not. Couldn't handle it though because there was too much fluff all the time. I spent all my time cleaning them. Now I just love all the pretty colours. 
Everybody comments on me shirt I wear up the street. I think it's about this, like that. Sometimes when I wear it a I minute, mean, it's not bloody well. I ever do. But yesterday I got more comments. One day the lady said, I'm going to pinch that off your line. The other day when I was in the doctor's. <laughs> oh, dear. You know what? I got it. I bought it online, and that's why there's nobody else has seen one about because um, it come from South Australia. It's a really nice, pretty colour. A tiny little, tiny little white dot on it. They have. Today I'm wearing a mauve top because I don't. I just felt like this colour today. I don't know about you. If you feel, put a brown dress on that I bought, which I wish I hadn't have done. Oh, a couple of days ago and I took it off because I couldn't handle that. Isn't that strange, you know? It's all right. My husband doesn't like wearing the same colour as top and as bottom. He won't wear a grey shirt with a grey pair of pants. He won't wear, like, you know, he won't all black and black. He won't wear the same colour. <laughs> you think it just upsets his, himself? I don't know. They don't look too bad. They're not that bad. Not that much difference in the size. I mean, they look all right together. Don't they look really cool. Now, I'm going to get another one. I'm going to want to get the blue one now, eh? <clears throat> Can't add a few of these. So I've got those to, to do. I haven't actually cut out any more of those ones yet. So I'll get another... Oh, I'll get these. I do love the colours. I do love the colours. I think that's going to look really good over some lace. I must have a big piece of lace here somewhere so I can give you a bit of a look what it's going to look like. I don't want to drag anything out. Sorry about that. Just don't want to drag it out yet. This is beautiful, isn't it? Look at it. Ah, oh, it's lovely. <laughs> now, I don't like. Well, I do like using my furry, but not. <laughs> but not. I do like using my furry, but sometimes you know you. So, if I can take it back a tiny bit, and then I can fold it back that way, and I'll have, how many have I got? Three? I don't remember how many I did with the other one. Four, I think. Okay, well, just three will do for starters, because you're going to have, not have to use a whole heap, just a good amount. Okay. Good pencil, this. It's like charcoal. Really good pencil actually because it gives you the comes out really good so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> Righty -o. whoops, got that. Now I've got so much beautiful fabric, I just gotta get myself into using some things and I think I think I will I guess I can so just put my leg back over there <laughs> sometimes it gets stuck in one place for too long it hurts too much okay you're getting close to the edge here Sonia sorry for not the shot oh dear Shouldn't sit them on there, I'll sit them on that. I'm just going to have a full of water. Oh. <coughs> Sorry about this, I'm going to have to have a drink so I can keep talking. <laughs> of cotton with thread. I wonder if is that, that is vintage or is it Tilda fabric? Tilda's got some nice fabric but I, and I have got some but I think mostly mine's, the ones I had were green. They were. Right oh, so let's just put some Rock and stitches around the outside, eh? It's 
not far to Christmas now, people, is it? Mm. I've, I always have been, I like Christmas, but except for <laughs> yeah, when everybody doesn't get on with one another, and that usually happens, doesn't it? I used to really like Christmas. <laughs> I do. I love. used to love all the decorating and stuff like that. Still, still do. You can buy a bit, each, bit more each year and put about. It's just for fun. For me and Jerry's sake and the cat anyway, if that's all. It's pretty good. I mean, the eldest daughter will be here though. She's coming, so that's good. I don't know about the other one. She's been due to have a baby in a couple of weeks and I haven't heard from her for a really long time. And I think she's talking to me. As I keep on saying that, I'm going to have to stop saying that. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop talking about it, aren't I? Sorry about that, people. Anyway. She don't like me. She don't. I remember my mother told me she didn't like her mother and I thought that was really bad because I th thought her mother was a really nice person. My grandma... So we just don't know about things in life, do we? About what people think and stuff. Or why. But anyway. They just get a thing about stuff and they just can't handle it. I don't know why. She just has been so silly. She's very independent sort of person which is you know can be took too far sometimes I reckon anyway so let's find the iron all right it's upside down down here the iron is it warm enough or not Pretty warm, still. Now I've got these ready to. I've already cut them, but I'm, you know, it will be pink on that bit too. But maybe I should check next time just to see, you know, what sort of thing's going to be on your edge pieces. So whatever's around here, you'll be able to see on the thing itself, on your shuffle. This is very. Fine, this is really fine fabric. Really nice, very open weave. Good thing to sew on. So, um, I often see people's comments on different things, you know, even on Facebook and stuff like that. Somebody said something about, um, they wouldn't, couldn't get the. Um, cotton and the needle through the thread that they were using or well, the needle through the fabric that they were using and it is um, well I've, I've mentioned a few times you know that you put the you make sure your fabric is open weave I mean this person's probably not even it's one of my friends on Facebook as far as I know but probably not somebody that watches me channel I don't know and I might use the same colour thread too for the cotton in the middle. Um, the button. And you've got to make sure that your needle is big enough to pull through the size of the fabric, uh, the, the thread that you're using. You need the bar, the, this is called the bar, I don't know, I suppose it is this handle bit. It has to be thicker than your cotton to make the hole big enough to go through to follow. The, the cotton to follow through after it see and I do mention that a fair bit when I'm doing this but I don't know how I tell them people I don't you know there's things that you your your needle has got to be comfortable for you as well because sometimes when you even see what needle to use on a kit or something that you're doing you've got to make sure though that it's comfortable for you to use that's not working for me very good and you you know if you don't get it you're not, I'm not threading that through there in a hurry. It should do, though, because I did set, add the other one in it, didn't I? Yeah. And it's not been persistent enough. It's to, And it's to do with your fabric a lot, too. 
because if you've got something that's really, really um, tightly woven, it's really bad, hard to work with, unless you've got a real, really sharp needle and very great determination. I suppose for people learning, it's not easy. I could do a video on that, I suppose, and put it on my, on my, on our group. And this is not working because it's pulling that up. But I'm going to keep making. <laughs> Look at me doing what I'm telling you not to. Oh goodness me! Need another needle, Sonia. I don't know that other pink one fit through there. It mightn't be as tough as this. It might be soft. <sighs> Some people can work with one needle and do everything with it. I think my mother used to be like that. She could just use the one thing, but she never used any other thread, any machine sewing thread, so that was that issue. I'm, I'm using a lot of... Um... So this is just a good size needle for for everything that I'm doing, and it's probably a milliner's one. It could be straw, I don't know, because I don't have the thing next to me. This one here is a um, cruel needle. It looks like it's um, tapestry, but it has got a point on it, so it has a bigger eye, and it has got a sharp point on it. So, that's cruel one. Okay, I'll put this in the middle. I'll make, make, a, make a move here before I get... Caught and be caught with no time left to do this for you. I'm thinking I should have glued it on here first. Oh, that's all right, it's working. It's working okay. Make sure it's pulled up there. Oh, yeah. I'll stick some glue under it. Oops. I don't want to get this on myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, I wipe it everywhere else. It's under there. Hope you're all having a good day. Doing a bit of something. Oh. I know I go and do lots of different things, but it's fun to do lots of different things. Some people are good and they can finish one thing at a time. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I do sometimes get something finished. It's a rarity though with me. Doesn't this look good? I'm really excited about this. Because I'm going to have it on the front and the back. <clears throat> just hope I've got enough buttons. But I can find some more because I'm sure that them wooden ones are about. I just got to get round here, and then I'm going to show you how to how we're going to sew it together. It looks different. This outside bit on this one, doesn't it? I wonder why. Maybe I'm making them too big. I'm getting carried away here trying to get it done. Yeah, I tell you, you're making them too big, so you can't do that. That's wrong. <laughs> I can see it's wrong. I just it took me a while. Now this scooting along flat out trying to get it done quick. I'll just use the other two to sew them together. I'm watching the clock see and the time's going quick and I don't want to be stuck here. Oh well, when I say stuck here, I don't want to be let's go over to the other to go over to the next thing. I'm gonna put another bit of thread on that, it's not long enough. <coughs> I don't have to join it. There they go. Look at that. They look good. I do like them. Gotta find that interesting piece of lace to put behind it. Because that way then it'll have a nice, really nice background thing to work with. Now this does look old and <laughs> dilapidated. Because <laughs> this fabric's just, as soon as I put the needle in it, there it just pulls it apart. But that's okay. We're going to look after it. You take it round here nicely this time, Sonia, not not flat out and terrible. I have to go and find myself a movie to watch this afternoon. My husband likes to go and watch the auctions. 
the sheep auctions on the internet. So that's what he's going to be watching the sheep auctions. He's always been a farmer at heart. He would have liked to have had his own farm, but we never would have been able to do that anyway. It's just too much. <laughs> It's not a good idea. Once a farmer was a good idea, now there's just too much things that can go wrong. Um, I've always had lots of nice animals though. I've always had chooks and we had chooks and guinea pigs and rabbits and pigeons and all these things that we've had over the years that the kids wanted, or, you know. And, and we did too, because we did as well. So we've had small farm animals, <laughs> 20 ones. Oh, yesterday I was coming past the pet shop and there's a galah in a cage. And outside, and on this cage, there was a note. And it said, Hello, my name's Cocky. I'm th over 30 years old. My people had to move away and couldn't take me with them. <laughs> Therefore, I nearly had a turn for the worst of that bit. <laughs> um, and then it said, but I'm fine, I am slowly settling in to be have this as my forever home. The pet, the pet shop, so he wasn't actually going to be sold. He was there to be, she, the man's going to keep him there with him. I felt so sorry for that poor little bird. I really did. I thought, how could... Ah, <laughs> oh dear, I thought I could take you home. I'd, you know, I'd look after you. <laughs> Talk to you all day, probably. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I don't understand. Jeremy said, where would they have went if they couldn't take the bird? He said, ah, oh, he said, unless of course they passed away, but I can't see that would have been it either. <laughs> Maybe they just moved in to a nurse home or something. I don't know. What to. You couldn't get rid of the bird. But you had, well, you know, that had, it's, it's just a thing, you know. You have to, if you've had it for 30 years plus, and all his, all his tummy feathers were all off, and he was there flapping, not flapping around, but he was moving about and saying something, and I couldn't understand what he was saying, and I'm sure it was something like, oh, dear, I don't want to be here, I hate it. <laughs> just, I just felt like he would have been thinking he was a bit lonely, you know. He's a bit lonely now. Poor little thing, and these people. That, that's a that's a big change, you know, for a little animal. That's a big change. I know a lot of people will adopt the old dogs and cats from the um, pounds or whatever you call it, PCAs and that, which is really good because their owners have probably passed away or something, and and they can't, you know, because they or they can't look after them anymore because they're too old. The people. You know, but um, and too, some people in their animals get older, they they just drop them, and that's not good, you know. But um, and it's really good when they, and I think that maybe the dogs and the cats can understand. I don't know. I know our cat gets really upset when we've gone out of the house both at the same time when we come home. He's not happy with us. I don't want to talk to you about that. <laughs> you can tell he's not happy because you've gone and left him by himself. Somebody videoed their cat at home while they while they were gone. The poor little thing had something. He put it in his mouth. It was a toy, and walked around the house crying. And now that's not good, is it? They, they wanted to see what he did while they were gone. Well, mine's not doing that. Probably now. Maybe when he was younger, he could have done. But now I think he might be going getting into bed and go to sleep. I don't think he worries now as much as what he used to. I don't know. Because I think they don't know they're hoping you're going to come back, I suppose. They don't know. You know, but it's the poor little things. Anyway. I nearly got here. Look at this. I nearly made this. And I've got a four, four minutes spare. got four minutes to show you what it's going to look like when I start sewing it together. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, absolutely. Love the colours. The colours are beautiful. <laughs> I hope I can keep it up though, because I'm thinking of some dark ones out there. But you know what? I'm just going to stick to the good colours if I can't find anything else. Now that's going to go there and there, and then there's going to be another one over here. Where's this one? We can use him for a, 
just to f fill in for the minute. And see, behind that, I'm going to put some lace because I want to get to give it a um, something. So here, I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to fasten these together. Um, what was I using? This blue? I no, I'm going to have to put some. I might use a cream colour of some sort, creamy, creamy, creamy whitish, creamy colour, creamy colour. To put them, that's really white. That one, I think. I don't know if that matters though. Oh, I must have a cream one here somewhere. I'll just keep looking yeah. for a minute. There's some there, but it's it's glow, glittery, a glittery one. I don't want to play with that. Oh, come on. This thing's got hinges on it, and the others haven't, and it keeps getting, st it gets stuck in there. Oh, come on, Sonia, you haven't got time for this. I won't push that one back in there just yet, it's too hard. I'll do it in a minute when I finish showing you what I can do with this. Or what we can do with them. That's white. This is. I suppose that might. This might work. I think I might use this thread. I think I'd rather the. I'd rather the cotton though. But anyway, one more box. One more box. Here, here it is. Oh, here it is. Is some. Um, oh goodness me! I've got some. A bit thick though. Oh no, it's not bad. We'll try it and see. You can always undo it. We always have that option of pulling it undone. Now, am I going to use this to um, catch those two sewings together or am I going to catch the back of the little thing together? I'll just loop through this and see what happens first, I suppose. How many will I do? <laughs> now I'm asking you, how many will I do? Three, four. I'm just looping through the, the thing here. Five, six. That looks all right. I'll do another one. Seven. I'll go eight. Righto. I think that'll work. Yep, I've got that, I've got that. I think that'll work. It starts to get too far over when you've got these two sides here, haven't it? Look, see? Where I've started out. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll have to go on a minute. Can't breathe here. I'm breathing, but not... Because <laughs> I'm breathing because I'm talking, but... So that'll look good, and then I'll do the same thing here. So all I did was just loop all those pieces together, and I'll just go back over one and make a knot, pull it up tighter. And when I started here, I don't know how I got away so far away, but I can pull that up a bit tighter too, because you can flatten it down. And you've got your cotton. That's going to look really cool. I think it's going to look really cool. I do. Thank you for watching, everybody. I've got 33 seconds to go. And I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to make some more of those and make a cover. And it's going to look absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.